Hello to all my friends out there. So I'm making some macaroni and cheese with salami. I stockpile salami and bologna for sandwiches. Uh, in a way, uh, salami is a little bit more versatile uh, than uh, bologna. Uh, but the good thing about bologna is, is fried bologna sandwiches and uh, just bologna and cheese sandwiches are quick. And um, today I want to put my um, salami in some uh, macaroni and cheese because I didn't drink my uh, three cups of milk. And so I have powdered milk in the refrigerator and this is a good way uh, to eat it down. So I, w I have one tablespoon of butter and I just want to cook the raw taste out of the flour. Also, I want to make mention of a working stockpile. So you're stockpiling a food, not just to put it somewhere in case of an emergency so that you can eat it all the time. So if you can afford it, and you can afford this King Arthur uh, flour. Uh, that is a nice luxury. I'm going to be stocking up some. Because if you have to live off your bread, you know, then if you have good flour, your bread... Uh, the cheaper flour, though, that I buy at 99 cent only is really, really good, too. So I just want to make some uh, cheese sauce for my uh, macaroni and cheese. Uh, you know, if you're new to gravy making, it's so easy and it's going to stretch your budget. I'm going to turn my heat up a little bit. And um, I want to make mention of what you can put in your macaroni and, and cheese. You can use a box of macaroni and cheese. Uh, what's nice about this is, see how my gravy is thickening up? Let me give you a close-up. And um, when I first started this, uh, you know, I was, was working with some people that really weren't doing that well. And people used to say, how do I do it? You know, I'd be working in the same shop and I would try and tell them, but it's, and even when I started the videos, it's taken me a while. Okay, and I'm, I stockpile real butter. That's like the, the good flour if you can afford it. And this week I stockpiled this um, shelf-stable milk from Dollar Tree just in case I might possibly need it. See how nice my uh, gravy looks? I like my macaroni and cheese kind of soupy. You can make it as thick. Uh, this is cheaper than cheese. That's another good thing. Okay, so um, I have half, a, half of this um, cheese. I find the cheese from Dollar Tree to be good. So uh, it was $1, so that's 50 cents worth of cheese. And then I, I stockpile these up. I'm gonna be buying some more cheese. I like these little $1 packages. You know, you can freeze them and you can take them out of the freezer. If you're, if you, you can lift your uh, stuff off the heat if you need to. If it starts cooking too fast for you, just lift it off the, uh, so now this is two pieces of salami, and you might be thinking, Rhoda, that is going to taste really horrible. Okay, you can eat your salami on the side, but it's not going to taste horrible. It's going to taste good. And it's going to make your, um, your macaroni and cheese a little bit more substantial. So here's what I have for, uh, you can put salami sausage you know the dollar sausages i would fry four uh bacon hot dogs veggies any kind and fish sticks uh the other night i had that fish sticks and uh macaroni and cheese with fish sticks on the side so see how this is so cheap 50 cents worth of cheese the powdered milk doesn't cost much 
two pieces of salami. This is a third thing I've made out of the salami. I made um, I made fried salami sandwiches and then I melted the cheese on an English muffin. You can put you can cut salami up and put it in pasta salad too. That is good. And then I wanted to mention they have the nice big packages. See how this makes a lot. Now this is something that's really, really good left over. You just, um, you know, put it in the refrigerator if you have a little bit left over. And then, you know, you uh, get a little bowl out and you zap it. Okay, I want to add a little bit more milk. It, it would technically be done here, but since I want mine, you know, a little more, and I have and I have milk left, and that I don't want to waste my powdered milk. I could just drink it down, but in a way, do you see how this is creating so much more food with my um, powdered milk? And if you were getting low on food, this might be. This looks good already. I, I want to try to add, I only had about, uh, I don't want to over add the milk because you know, I want my uh, stuff nice and cheesy. And then, I want to put salt and pepper. This is going to taste very, very Blazola without salt and pepper. I don't want any of my my followers starving unnecessarily. Get your benefits if you're poor. Okay, you guys, there you have it. Salami and macaroni and cheese. And bear this uh, working stockpile in mind. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe. And God bless you all.